Wow. Beautiful drive up. Looks awesome. This property features a modern log cabin, a woodshed, and a heated two-car garage. It's tucked away in almost four acres of land, surrounded by Alaskan forest. Definitely in the woods. I like that a lot. North Pole gets up to five feet of snow per year, so it's important to take precautions. As you can see on the metal roof, it's got snow stops. Snow stops are the only defense against a disaster waiting to happen. A roof avalanche. A snow stop keeps snow and ice from sliding off the roof, which can cause property damage and physical injuries. I'm from Ohio and have only lived in the South, so that's something I've never seen before. Behind you is a two-car garage. Cool. You got a loft on top. You got a workbench behind here. It does have heat. I think when we get both vehicles into that space, there's not going to be a lot of room left over. I think I'd probably be looking for a little bit more space. Compared to what we have now in our rental space, it's huge. It may not be Pat's dream garage, but it's certainly enough to keep their cars from freezing over when the temperatures plummet to minus 40 degrees. All right. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's got a very homey feel to it. I'm not sure how I feel about the wood. It's definitely Alaskan. The overall feel of the cabin is just very different for me. I don't know how I feel about the style. I've just never seen anything like it. It's a nice country style, rugged Alaskan kitchen. The kitchen has everything Pat and Rocky need to prepare for a party. And the living room offers the perfect setting for all their guests. Wow, look how tall these ceilings are. I see this as a great place to entertain. I really like the bar, kind of passing through from the kitchen. I think this aspect would be pretty decent for entertaining. I notice it's really warm in here. This is a catalytic stove, and this is going to lower your fuel bills substantially. Heating the home with a standard oil-fueled boiler could cost Pat and Rocky at least $500 a month. But with four acres of trees on the property, the wood stove won't cost them a penny. It's very efficient. I was really stoked to see the wood stove, but if I'm gone for a long period of time on deployment, I'm slightly concerned that Rocky, you can't handle it. So is this the only heating source? No, it's actually got a oil-fired boiler system, and you can see the oil hot water baseboard yep. um, right along there. I have no hesitation on turning up that heat on the thermostat. 